<laughs> yeah. That's good. Mm. Mm. I'm really, really grateful you took me back. Oh, Thank you so much. It's all good. It's all good. Despite all the shortcomings, accepting me, I'm very grateful. It's okay. But I wonder how a grown-up lady like you does not know how to cook. Well, Mama, I, um, I lost my parents at a very, very tender age. So, oh, and it's okay. It's okay. That's by the way. It's all right, eh? You're welcome back home. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you. It's okay. Um, see, you know we're about to go on vacation, me and my husband. Yes. So I put this home in your hand. <laughs> mm? You don't have any problem mm -hmm. at all, Mama. So take care of my home, take care of my son. <laughs> you know I'll what do you that, do. Mama. Just no do your thing. Do your job no very well. Mm? <laughs> Make me happy. Okay? Anything for you, Mama. <laughs> Thank you. It's all right. Let's go down. <laughs> Yes, Dad, I'm fine. Yes, Dad. How is David doing? Terrible, Dad. The shock broke him into pieces. Oh, I can imagine. I wish I was in the country, but he's a strong man. He's a strong young man. Well, he will push through. Are you sure about that? With the look of things, Dad, I have my doubts. Can you believe he hasn't even uttered a word since I got here? He has lost it completely. My joy, I understand you. I think he needs a therapist. Anyways, uh, please do your best for him, okay? I'll be in the country as soon as I can. All right, Dad. And Dad? Yes, please. I love you so much. <laughs> Love you more, my darling. All right, Dad. Bye. Bye bye. Cause, Boo, talk to me now. Since I came here, all you do is just to stay mute and cry. I don't know why you're doing this to. It's me, or it's me, your favorite cousin. Boo. Please. I know you're going through a lot. But the way you're going about this, if anything should happen to you, trust me, I won't be able to survive it. I hope you know. 
it's okay. It's okay. Well, I'm here for you, okay? It's okay. Well, let me just say, please. It's okay. Hello. Hi there, how are you? Are you okay? Are you crying? Tana, please. Please, I need your help. Please. Okay, just calm down, calm down, okay? What's the problem? I wish I can tell you over the phone, but I, I need you to get here, please. Just come around, I'll send you the address right away. You okay. know what? Just um, send me the address. I'll come and meet you up, okay? My dad and I talked about it and we concluded that he really needs a therapist to help him live above his loss. He does, absolutely. Yeah, and I can't think of anyone else except you. Hi, Dave. Hi, Jess. Hi, Tana. Good evening, Dave. Good evening. So, where is he? In his father's bedroom. He hasn't stepped out of that room for weeks now. Are you serious? I can't be joking, you know. I can show you where he is if you don't mind. Just follow me. eat anything. Come on, Frank. What's wrong with you? I mean, why would I even ask you what's wrong with you? So I'm sorry about that, but then put yourself together. Hmm? It has happened, it has happened. You can't be living like this for, for, for the rest of your life. You need to control yourself. How can you be here for weeks without eating anything? It doesn't make sense. Please. Boo boo, come on, say something. Your best friend is here and he's talking to you. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I really need you to, to help me out. I can't keep doing this, like, it's suffocating. He won't just listen to me, he won't do a thing. He needs to help me, please. Let him get over this. Don't worry, Jassy. He, he will come around. Like this? Trust me, I'm sure he will come around, okay? It's just that the, the whole accident affected him so bad, especially Elena's death. Who is Elena? Oh, Elena is um, Frank's fiance. Oh, how, how did she die? Well, um... Well, uh, Lena was in this house before the whole accident happened, you know, so um, um, she was here, they were planning about their wedding before Frank's parents wanted to go on a vacation. So um, Frank was busy, he wasn't available, he had to rush down to the office to, you know, tidy up one or two things. So um, Frank's fiancée, Elena, had to accompany Frank's parents to the, um, to the airport. 
You understand? So on getting to the airport, or rather before they got to the airport, they had their accidents. And unfortunately, she didn't come out alive. Oh my God. That must have been a terrible law. Yeah, it's 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 so sad. And I'm sure you know um Elena Jasmine. Yeah, of course. Frank told me about her. Well it's quite unfortunate that I didn't get to meet her in person. No? I was still serving dangers. It's so sad. It is. It is. It is. So, um, Frank, please. Your parents will not be happy if they, 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 they continue to do like this. Come on, you need to make these people happy. You need to live a happy life for them to be happy as well. Please. Do not continue like this. It is breaking them. I am very sure that the way you are living right now is breaking them wherever they are. Please, put yourself together. Please. Oh. Mubu, can you listen to your best friend and at least talk to me? Or talk to him, yeah. if you don't want to talk to me. Oh, God. Oh, God. And it's even making it Wow. See, babe. You've seen the situation of things. I really need your help. Hmm? Just come stay with us for some days. Huh? Help me get my brother back on his feet. You know you're the only person I can count on in this. Please. Yeah, as I assure you, I'm definitely going to do my best, okay? I'll do my best. Gosh. He's really devastated. I bet you know you saw that for yourself. Um, Jasmine, if you don't mind, can I see you outside for a moment? Jasmine, I, I know this is not the right time for me to bring this topic up, but um, Jasmine, I, I really want you to help me talk to your friend. You know how much I love her. I just want you to do me this favor. I know this is not the right time for me to bring up this conversation, but please help me. Hey, yes. Dave. I can't believe you're doing this. Like, you know the situation of things, and here you are talking about something that doesn't make sense. How can you bring up this in a situation like this? Jasmine, I know. I know this is not the right time. Yes, Steve. Just stop it already. Stop it. I'm not even in the mood. Moreover, I don't even see the reason I should be the one to talk to them every time you have a crush on a woman. Why? Come on, I think it's high time you own up to your feelings and approach this woman and tell her how you feel. Jasmine, listen. This one is different. Please, I love this girl and you know I do. You are the only person that can help me talk to her. Please, you are the only person that can make it easier for me. Just help me talk to her. Just help me. Just let my feelings known to her, please. Okay, fine. To tell you what, I've done my part. Oh my God. Yes, I've told her how you really feel about her. Then I think it's high time for you to walk in there and express yourself. Tell her how much you feel about her. I'm not too involved in any of this again. She's not coming up for us. Come on now, just this little, little favor that I am asking you to help me with. And what is there in talking to your best friend? I like this girl. I love this girl. I am in love with this girl. Why can't you just help me talk to your friend? What is wrong with what I asked her to do for me? What? Very simple. I don't understand these girls. When you ask them for favor, they turn around and like,
Have you even had your bath? Stop this, okay? Stop. I don't know. I'm not Elena. Elena, why did you leave me? I'm missing you so much. Frank, Elena. calm down, okay? You're going to have to calm down. I'm not Elena. Elena. I'm not Elena. I'm Tana. Frank, I am not Elena. I am Tana, okay? Elena, I miss you. No, I'm Jasmine's friend. Jasmine brought me here to help you. I'm not Elena. I'm Elena, Jasmine. Elena, please come back. Frank, Elena, come back. Frank, Elena, wait. Elena, I miss you. Frank, I'm not Elena. Elena, I'm... I miss you so much. Frank, Frank, I'm, Frank, I'm, I'm not Elena. Elena. I am... Stop, Frank. Frank, Frank, stop. Oh, my God, stop. Elena. 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 Hey, hey, are you right? Yes. I don't think so. Your cousin, okay. Frank, I, I, went, I went to his room to check on him and he called me Elena. What? Yes. Wait, if, if I had you right, you mean Frank actually said something to you? Yes. Frank called me Elena and he seemed very excited while calling me Elena. Plus, he was trying to make out with me and I felt very uncomfortable. I had to just run out of the room. I left him there. Like a big serious with me right now. He, he made me so uncomfortable. <coughs> what is that? Sir? Are you sure he's okay? Frank! to be someone I'm not. I know. I know I'm asking for too much. But this might be our only chance of getting him back. Yes. Please, baby girl. Just do it for me. I promise you, I'll be forever indebted to you. Jasmine! Baby girl, please. You're only the only person I've got right now. Please. For goodness sake, Jasmine, this is different now. I know, this is different. I, I know. Tr trust me, if I have any other person to do this for me, I won't be here. But please, you're all I have got. Please. Listen, I don't know, okay? I don't know.
should have done this before now. But the truth remains that I, I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Dave! Yes. How come? Yes, they will definitely come for it. Yes, uh, I. Hello. Uh, You're welcome, my son. You're welcome. Hello. Yeah, my dear. Son? Huh? Who is this beautiful damsel with you? Well, mom, this is the girl I've been telling you people about. Oh, she looks so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, mom. My dear, you're welcome. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. You're welcome. Please do have a seat. We have seats. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, my son told me you reside in Abuja. Yes, sir. Uh, good. So, how are your parents and uh, what do you do in Abuja? Well, sadly, I'm an orphan and I own a boutique. So sorry about your loss. Thank you. Well, it's fine. You're welcome. You're welcome to our home. Thank you, ma. Mm -hmm. Daddy, look at this. She is. Uh, Life is always beautiful. Uh, <laughs> son, you know, why don't you take her in, show her around, and make her comfortable? Uh, All right, Dad. <sighs> Babe, let's go. You feel okay? All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Son, you get high. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hi, son. How are you doing? I'm okay. Can I have a test? Sure, why not? Uh -huh. mm. I diluted it with water. Mm. You like it? Bad. <laughs> you have to see me now. How far is that? Uh, yes. Mm, it's about um, Elena. So, how much do you know her? Um, mom, I have to be honest with you, I, I don't really know her that much. I met her on Instagram. Oh, come on, child. How can you propose to a girl you barely know? You don't do that. Mom, we saw each other's pictures and we fell in love. Even at that, you don't do such thing. How can you just see a, a girl and you just propose to her without knowing her background, her character, not anything about her at all. You don't do that. Uh, well, People don't marry like that. Hell, she will make a lifetime mistake. You know you're my son. And I love you. I love you too, mom. But honestly, I... Honestly, I haven't even proposed to her yet. We're <laughs> just dating based on we know where we're headed. Then, you take out time to know her. Okay. You are my son. And you know I cannot deceive you. I love you. And I love you too, Mom. But Mom, I, I don't know how to do that. Not to worry. Just leave that to me. I have to study her for a while. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. that's really the best mom in the world. Thank you. Mom, I have to be inside now. To go and be with her, I guess. I can see you now love her more than you love the woman that gave birth to you. No, 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 mom, don't say that. You know, I can never love anyone more than I love my mom. 
Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm Better. <laughs> so, who are you looking at on the phone? <laughs> Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, my dear. What are you doing? I actually came to see if I can make us lunch. Dave insisted I make lunch today. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I would like to watch so I can actually learn your skills. <laughs> ma'am, I'm very sure I can't try to compete with you on that. You mean you will beat me? Hmm. If you say so. But I still want to watch. No, Mama. I think I'll be more comfortable if you're not watching while I cook. I hope you understand. No. No, it's fine. I understand. Okay. Do your thing. Son, hmm. that girl does not know how to cook. What? Hmm. With the way I saw her in that kitchen, she doesn't know how to cook. Mom, wait. But she just got here. <laughs> She's not even tested her food before, so how did you know she can't cook? Hmm. I was watching her from the kitchen door. In fact, she doesn't even know how to go about it. I mean, I'm a woman. So if I see somebody that knows how to cook, I will know with the way she will gather the items she will use to cook, to prepare the food. No. From there, I will know she knows how to cook. No, she mom. doesn't know how to cook. Mom, can you just calm down? Huh? huh? Mom, wait. All right. Fine. Why don't we just wait until she finishes cooking whatever thing she's cooking? They will know if she knows how to cook or not. Hmm. 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 Mom, just please. Please now. Okay. But I doubt if she will cook anything at all at the end of the day. Mom, that girl is pretty. Have you taken your time to look at her lately? She's sweet. A beautiful girl like that doesn't know how to cook. It's an error. I, I doubt I doubt if you're right. Mm -hmm. you're just let's just relax, okay? Oh, okay. Let us wait. We wait. We wait. What is holding her now? Eh? Mom, just calm down. She's coming. This food is taking too long. Mom, calm down. She's taking too long. She's coming. Mom, is it not to just to prepare the food and serve us to eat? Mom, relax now. What is the problem? Are you alright? Yes, Mom, fine. Why is your face like this? Um, babe, can I see you for a moment? Why do you want to see him? Is he the one to serve the food? Have you bought my food? What is the problem? No, ma. Go and bring my food to eat. What is it? Mom, can you just come down, please? Let me hear what she has to say. Just relax. Can you eat the food? What is going on? Come on, relax. You see? I said it. She doesn't know how to cook. Have you messed up my kitchen? 
this girl cannot cook, just a simple food. What is going on in there? I said it. I said it. She, she, she doesn't know how to cook. Just, just imagine. What? Huh? No, the girl must leave. The girl must leave. Daddy, you asked to see me. Yes, sit down. Ask the girl to excuse us. Baby, it's okay. Wait for me in the room, please. Let me add in, please, to her. Mom, she's gone. David, I want you to ask that girl to leave this house immediately. We don't want her here anymore. Dad, why would I do that? Dave, why are you questioning your father? Mom, I'm not questioning him. I just want to know why he wants my fiance to leave the house. She's the woman I intend getting married to. She's my wife to be. Yeah, David, you will never, never marry that girl and that is final from your father father that cannot be final that cannot be final now huh are you even considering my own happiness my future mom you don't have any future with that girl that i love that girl dave dave stop it stop what is all this what your father wants for you is the best for your future Mom, if you want the best for my future, you allow me to get married to the woman I want to get married to. I'm old enough to make choices for myself. Then I'm no longer a baby. Now listen to me very carefully, boy. If you insist on marrying that girl, then I will have no choice than to... Chief, please. Please. Mom, Mom just allow him. Allow him to finish. If I insist on getting married to the woman I love, you have no other choice than to disinherit me or probably disown me. I get the picture now. Excuse me. She didn't have talked to him in that manner. No, it wasn't harsh. That girl, I know her. I know her kind. All she needs is someone to teach her and she will learn. You're right, son. You're right. But please, just calm down and listen to me. You must obey your father for now and let the girl go. I promise you, I will find a way to, to allow her to come back to this house and I will teach her many things she needs to know. Mom, she, are you promising me that? I promise you that. You have my word. I will talk to your father, okay? Okay. Love you, Mom. Love you too. It's all right. You have my word. Okay. I I love her. I can't even imagine my life without her. I understand. Hmm. Please help me talk to Daddy. My son is really in love. <laughs> Mommy, love me. Okay. It's alright. Don't worry yourself, eh? She's back. going to come back. I'll join you. Sorry. I'll be inside. All right. So, <clears throat> what, uh, how do your parents see Elena? I mean, what do they feel about her? Dad, I have a problem there. My, my dad, 
Take the blood off me and give me a bit of a nose or whatever. I'm serious. Is it? Why? What's the good reason? I don't know. You know, it surprises me too. The next thing I presented in the to them, and they were all excited to see her. Mm -hmm. And then mom said I should take her to her room and make her feel comfortable. Uh -huh. Then I called me to you know, ask me a few things about her. Okay. But after telling him, it was like, that he, he was the best for me and he wouldn't want to take any risk. He, he, he doesn't like any other that I should get. I can find someone else, though, if I'm unable to do that, and he doesn't really find getting me a wife himself. It's, it's crazy, it's crazy. I mean, Elena has no issues at all. She's, she's a very nice person. I wish she lost her parents and the ghastly thing in our crash. But it still doesn't change any fact for me. That's all. Well, what bothers me most is my mom. Mm -hmm. I was hoping she was going to be with my son for this. Well, <laughs> the woman said that her hands are tied. And she can't stand against her husband. Now, what about my happiness? But if my future exactly. you're talking about, you know I love her living. I do, I know. So I can't do, I can't do without her. I can't even imagine myself being with another woman. I know. Listen, bro. You have to convince your parents. You should be able to stand your ground. This is your love life we're talking about. This is life and death. This is forever. This is your future. This is someone you love, so you need to convince your parents. Keep pushing, you don't need to back down. That's what I'm telling you, my friend. What do you think I should do? Do you have any idea? What I think you should do is to continue talking to your father, continue talking to your mom. As a matter of fact, go to your mom, talk to her, convince her. I think she's the only person that can actually convince her husband. I think that will work. Okay. I know it will work. Uh, uh... But that girl you brought home is not well trained at all. No home training. But that I love her. I know that you love her. Well, your mother spoke with me. And... Um, And that just said, Tell the girl that she is welcome to my house anytime. That are you serious about this? Yes, as long as it makes you happy, because your happiness is most important to your mother and I. Dad, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. That's all right. Your mother will give her all the training she needs. Wow. I'm happy to hear this, Dad. You don't know how excited this makes me. Thank you, sir. Finally, congratulations to this old man finally accepted. What can I hmm? say? Ah, this is this is huge for you. Hey, what can I say, my brother? 
I'm the only son of that old man in the <laughs> world. I know. But I am the most happiest young man on planet Earth. I'm course. telling you. You don't know how happy this makes me. Man, I think we should go out and kill this hour. <laughs> so don't go out. Who will go out? Well, where, where's the name? Um, no, he, she went out more. Oh, she had women stuff, eh? You know she did the guy stuff right now. <laughs> but like a little issue here. Yeah. Dad and mom are not going for a vacation. Okay. I, I have to shift the wedding day. This vacation means a lot to them. Oh. Okay, so Dad, I just want to like maybe push it to him. Let's move anyway. You know, by then we would have had enough time to you know, prepare ourselves. And yeah, I, I understand. But my guy, here go. Next month, next two months, the end point is that there is still a wedding. Right? Of yeah, course! Congratulations. Hey! Congratulations. Bro, you yes. are my uh, best man. Of, you are my best man. And please, make sure after my wedding, mm -hmm. we are going to be talking about yours. Done you are not. God, I'm not done doing God. This I'm, guy. I'm, this guy, guy. No, no, I want to ask you a question. Why you even tell me? I mean, you're making it official like, guy, yeah, you're my best man. Are you supposed to tell me that? No. I already know, my guy. Let's go on party. I'm only trying to make the point here. Yeah. No, you shouldn't. You make the point. should think I already know how to. As a matter of fact, when I heard the news, I started calling my tail off and start making my suit. Let's move, guy. Let's move. Bro, I'll tell you the man of the moment. I salute you, my nigga. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Mm. Mm. I'm really, really grateful you took me back. Oh. Thank you so much. It's all good. It's all good. Despite all the shortcomings, accepting me, I'm very grateful. On that. It's okay. But I wonder how a grown-up lady like you does not know how to cook. I lost my parents at the very, very tender age. So, oh, and it's okay, it's okay. That's by the way. It's all right, eh? You're welcome back home. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you. It's okay. Um, see, you know we're about to go on vacation, me and my husband. Yeah. So I put this home in your hand. <laughs> hmm? I don't have any problem mm -hmm. at all. So take care of my home, take care of my son. <laughs> you know I'll what do you that, do. Mama. Just no do your thing. Do your job no very well. Hmm? <laughs> Make me happy. Okay? Anything for you, Mama. <laughs> Thank you. It's all right. Let's go down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How am I supposed to live without them? Tell me. Am I not yield for life? No, you're not. You have me. You know I'll always be here for you, right? Uh, of course you know how much I love you. And I will always do anything in my power to make you happy. You don't understand it. I do understand, trust me. You don't. You don't. You don't understand. I miss my mom. I know how you feel. I miss my dad. I know. I miss. I Elena. miss Elena. Frank? Oh my god, I'm sorry, I. I didn't know you were in the bathroom. Oh. I actually came to see how you're doing, but I can see you're okay, so I'll just take my leave. Um, I'm fine. I want you with me then to thank you. Thank you so much, Lord, but without you, I wouldn't be part of my setup. Maybe it's not good. Thank you. It's, it's okay. I I will Okay, can I can I go home? Okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so darling, I'm really grateful for everything. Thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. Come on, darling. I mean, it's nothing. Fana. Frank. Tana, I don't want you to go. Why? Honestly, you feel the vacuum Elena left in my heart. I have, I feel like my happiness is with you. Please stay. Please. Listen, I know you're not expecting this. I know this may come to you as a shock, but I'm in love with you. F Frank. I can't hide it. Okay. I just feel like you're going out with my happiness. I, I can't do this alone. <laughs> Honestly. Frank. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh my god. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, Frank. Mommy, you don't have to what? say anything, just say yes. <laughs> what's, what's going on here? What's going on? What's, go what's going on? Frank? Tana? Dave. Um, Tana, I, I have something to say. I know I haven't let this out before, but um, I think this is the right time for me to say it. Tana, I love you from the deepest part of my heart. I know I haven't said this before. And I, I don't blame Frank because he probably doesn't know that I... I love you. He doesn't know my feelings towards you. Honestly, Dave, I like you, okay, but I just like you as a mutual friend. I mean, I don't have feelings for you. And maybe things would have been different if you had told me this all the while you've been telling Jasmine about it. But I, 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 I told Jasmine to, to. To tell me what exactly? To tell me what? That that you that you want to date me? You're, you're, you're telling someone else that you want to. It, it won't work, okay? Listen, Dave, you're a good looking guy, and I know that it will be very easy for you to just get any girl to date you. But please, next time when you like a woman, go go talk to her yourself. Don't send someone to do the talking for you, okay? It won't work. It won't work. I accept, yes. Really? Yes. Does that mean you, you marry me? I will, yes. You marry me? Yes. Yes, I will. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dave, wait up. Just, just come back just, here. Just come back. Come on. Dave, listen, we need you around, okay? Please don't 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 be like this. And we can still be mutual friends. Yeah. Please. Well, um Frank, um mm -hmm. I'm happy that you're back on your feet, bro. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy for you, bro. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> so what the hell are we waiting for? Let's celebrate! Right! Yeah, let's celebrate! <laughs> let's go back inside. Let's go back inside. No one is leaving. No one is leaving. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So gracious time. You know what I mean? <sighs> Ah, <sighs> Jesus, I've been dreaming. <sighs> Such a terrible dream. <laughs> oh my God, I need to call Elena. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Hi, hi guys. Yeah, how are you doing? <sighs> no, I'm fine. I, I, I don't know. I was going through some things and I felt I slept off. I had a very unpleasant dream, so I decided to call up to know how you're doing. <sighs> no, don't worry about it. It's good to know that you're fine, okay? That's just what I want to know. So, how's Abuja? All right, babe. Hi. Okay, when are you coming? It's all right. It's all right, love. Okay, okay. I'll call you later on, okay? Yeah, I love you too. Bye. <laughs> wow. A bad night, man. Oh my god, Miss Calls. Hey. Oh my god, look I'm at my face. Oh, I'll come here. I miss you. I miss you more. Look at you. Okay, okay. Hi, Louis, looking ravishing. Always. <laughs> you get to ask down. Okay. Okay, I've been calling you, so why haven't you been taking your calls? Oh, oh sorry, that I just saw your missed calls now. You won't believe it. I was going through some things online and then I dozed off. <laughs> really? Uh, yes. By this hour of the day? Come on, I you. I am. This is my free day today. Come on. Whatever. It, that's none of my business anyway. So, have you heard from Dad? <laughs> no, why? Really? Okay, so I got on the phone with them and they said they're already on their way here. They're at the airport. You're Are you here. serious right now? Come on. I, I'm wondering what you're sitting in that bed. Please get your ass off. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Are you? Oh my god! 